Hey everybody, welcome back to Northern Land Plays. The Binding of Isaac Afterbirth. What kind of person would I be if after winning a Keeper run, I didn't do another Keeper run and, and at least try a Keeper streak? HCPV1CL0 on the Burning Basement 1. Thankfully, it's not like we're fighting a mini-boss early or anything like that. And thankfully, we got Wooden Nickel uh, to pop off early so that we got some extra protection on this room. Those are the things I would be saying if we were in an optimal situation right now, which we are not. But hey, the Chariot card's good. Don't take this, by the way, as uh, an indication that this is the new normal for me. That we're just going to do Keeper Streaks until the end of time. But if you get one win as the Keeper, you gotta try to get two. And if you get two, you gotta try to get three. And then when we die... Uh, eventually, maybe within the next like two minutes, we will start a uh, a more traditional sort of random slash Eden thing. I'm not totally sure of how I'm going to choose to handle it yet. That was not a good use of my only bomb. So last run was a very special keeper run, just in the sense that it was absurdly good. Like we got a lot of damage early. We got an early small rock, just like we did right there. Um, and then that combined with Magic Mush and I think like Cat of Nine Tails and Capricorn or Eight and a Half Inch Nails, etc, etc. Allowed us to get some pretty ridiculously uh, positive stuff going over the course of that run. So I'm hopeful that we can get something similar going here. We do have a Golden Key. We were very rude to our donation machine last time. And I will continue to do so um, because as the Keeper that's something you want to pay attention to. Do we want a Seven Cent Ladder? I don't know, it's like the kind of thing that's not bad, but I think our money might be better served on a, you know, a different area in the future. If we could maybe buy a trinket, for example, just throwing that out there. A, a trinket that could win us the game. Probably not Samson's Locks. Skinny Odd Mushroom is not the item we just picked up. Uh, this is Fat Odd Mushroom, and it's a slight damage improvement. Not a ton, but, but I'll take it. And I gotta say, uh, we actually might be able to use the Chariot card to get a, um, to get into and out of the Cursed Room. I'm gonna prioritize, you know, beating Ragman first. He's a fairly difficult first floor boss. But thankfully we've gotten two damage upgrades, even if they are, you know, relatively, um, you know, non-transformative. They still are extremely helpful. So, we got Ragman stuck in a moment he can't get out of. We got HP we can't do anything with. Um... We should walk into the curse room and then use the chariot card when we get in there. It's a little risky, let's be safe. Okay, we're actually fine. We can save the chariot card for the next floor. Um, just don't walk on any spikes or anything like that and we're good to go. I would say this is a relatively good first floor. Small rock is huge. Skinny odd mushroom is okay. And, um, you know, two keys that we can use on the next floor. Hopefully for something of value. Really... It's all about that early small rock pickup, and I'm always hesitant as the keeper to blow up tinted rocks because you're not really likely to get great outcomes. That might be a library there. Now, library as the keeper is not necessarily that useful, but it's not a, a bad thing either. Dude, game, why you gotta do like, why you gotta do me like this? All I want is a nice standard keeper run, and then the game comes in and it says like, hey, remember, you're the zany man. Wouldn't it be nice if uh, you did some, uh, just a dunce cap action? Be a nice run, a uh, shame if something happened to it. Well, it would be a shame if something happened to it. The Keeper is zany enough that I'm not taking the dunce cap yet. We may eventually decide that that's sensible, but for now, I'm going to abstain. Anarchist Cookbook, How to Jump, Book of Secrets. Not particularly good, but I still do like to go to libraries when given the chance. I don't know how deals with the devil work with coins, by the way, so, I mean, I'm not super invested in getting a deal with the devil, but if we're going to get it, we will uh, we'll get it later, I suppose. I want to make sure I'm using uh, the wooden nickel on every room in which it's available. I guess the longer we can save the chariot card, the better. Let's not, like, jump at a chance to use it uh, for no reason, you know, just to get into the curse room. Of course, if we get guppy items out of it, that's one thing, but if we don't, then it's, it's kind of an extreme waste. You know, even if we just get flies out of it. But we can go to the curse room as long as we get a wooden nickel charge. It doesn't actually matter. You know, we can save the cherry card. That's just there as a failsafe. So we do have HP. We, unfortunately, just... There's no world in which we can take a little brim. So we will ignore that. And we got our second HP upgrade. HP upgrades, of course, are basically a waste when you're playing as the keeper. 
but I was going to say it's better than nothing in many ways, though. I suppose that that is actually false, <laughs> unfortunately, uh, inside of our shop. I think you, PhD seems good here. Let's take that. Balls of Steel. It just flies, but it's not that bad. And I want to try a bomb here. And we got three extra cents, which is actually uh, just what I needed. Because I want this card, which is the Joker. And then I want this pill, which is a good pill. So it's one makes you larger. Which is not actually a good pill uh, in our present situation. Or in any situation, basically. But that's okay as well. So we will check the curse room just to burn the chariot card off. Because we want to keep the Joker. I think PhD could be good for us uh, as we proceed throughout the game, but it's not like an instant win by itself for sure. We're still looking for the, you know, swallowed penny, petrified poop, but we're out of bombs now. So let's check out what we got in here. It's a rune. And the rune is the gaz, which just gives us flies. So we pop the chariot card, exit, go get some HP back. Did I not leave HP on the ground? I picked it all up, even though we had one extra cent that we had no purpose with. That is actually really, really dumb and quite scary. Okay, so we have a Joker card and then one makes you larger. We definitely should have left a penny on the ground. But basically, we're just going to have to deal with our mistake here. So we'll look for a penny in these situations. And if we get through, you know, one or two more rooms, we're going to be fine. Probably. But, uh... Yeah, that was, that was short-sighted of me. And just a, you know, another reminder of all the things you need to keep yourself going as the Keeper. We're actually lucky we left stem cells. So at least we made a smart decision there. So we're back in the saddle here um, on the Flooded Caves 1. It's not uh, open season to take damage. I'd still prefer not to. What? That was a great hit. Um, not on my part. It was, a bad, it was bad to get hit on my part. But I got to give the enemy some respect. How's this run looking? As of right now, it is worse than our last one. Like, uh, well, yeah, the last one. Uh, I was going to say, like, you know, we've had another Keeper run recently that we tried to have a good time with, but then the gate crushed us, but or the, the cage crushed us. Crushed us? Coffee's not doing his job this morning. Um, but we're still alive. So it's obviously doing something right. And Iron Bar is nice. Small damage upgrade plus concussive tears. I'd say we're... Probably, if you start a Keeper run, you probably have, like, a 25% chance of a win. I would say that right now, we're probably at, like, a 30, like a, what, let's just say 1 in 3 chance to win. So we've raised our chances relative to the average ever so slightly. Grab this, Wheel of Fortune, I useful for the future. But probably not as useful as a, uh, a Joker card could be. We should leave just some pennies on the ground. I'm not doing a great job of that right now. Um, we've, we've gotten a good amount of damage upgrades, but only Small Rock is really, like, hugely advantageous when it comes to damage upgrades. You know, like, Small Rock is a plus one in, in the damage department, which is meaningful, not negligible. I think that um, Iron Bar is a plus 0 0.3, and I actually think that Fat Odd Mushroom is plus 0 0.3 as well. So those two damage upgrades combined are still only like 60% of one small rock. It's nice to have them, and, and certainly like, rather that than more HP upgrades we can't get any, you know, value out of, but um, we, we would like to maybe... Uh, let's just say the jury's still out when it comes to like endgame DPS. Rate of Fire would be good uh, as well. Anything but like more stupid HP upgrades from, uh, from our boss fights is, is fine by me, honestly. Lucky dodges there. I gotta also get into the habit, because it really does make a meaningful difference. Uh, I've got to get into the habit of using wooden nickel once per room. I see you, Tomo. You're freaking out. Why are you freaking out? Let's just take a moment and examine things. Let's look at the halt principle, okay? Are you hungry? Are you angry? Are you lonely? Or are you tired? Well, you're a cat. Your day pretty much consists of begging for attention, sleeping, eating, and grooming. So I'm going to assume that at any given time... One of those probably applies. Is that why you're feeling stressed right now? Is that why you're, as the Tribe Called Quest would say, bugging out? If so, just slow your roll. There you go. He's, he's taking a little nap there. That's a more productive way to handle the situation. Well, that's a little scary. Honestly, uh, I wouldn't mind a speed upgrade either. 
We're not particularly slow. But we are slow enough that there are some enemies that I think, you know, positioning is going to become more important than dodging. And that is not necessarily a, uh, a strong suit of mine, so... I think that we would be wise to prioritize speed if there's a chance that we can get it. Easiest way to make that happen, obviously, would probably be something like an all-stats upgrade. Gives us benefits across multiple different spectrums. No deal with the devil. So we can use the Joker card. And we got... Oh god, it is going to get the Angel Statue. Crown of Light is dope, by the way. Crown of Light's amazing. Kind of need to focus here. Apologies for not much commentary. The, the Troll Bomb sort of screwed me here. It didn't ruin the run. It just put me into a situation where I had to be very, very cautious about uh, the way that I handled this angel. But we got through it, and getting through this with Crown of Light is hugely valuable, so that Joker card was real nice. I was thinking, you know, if it's a deal with the devil, I'm just going to get out of here. If it's a deal with the devil, I probably should have taken Placenta because it maybe generates flies for us, but... Um, if we, if we got a deal with the devil, we had Placenta kind of backing us up there to uh, give us HP. In the end, we ended up getting a deal with the Angel, so we got Crown of Light, uh, which is probably one of like the top 10 DPS items in the game, maybe? It's gotta be up there. Of course, if you get hit on a room, you lose uh, the advantage of the DPS that you had, but you get it back when you get to full health or something. I don't know. We're gonna be spending most of our time uh, as the Keeper on full health, unless something's gone terribly wrong. So, for right now, I think we should be very, very thankful that we got an item for free. We also keep the Mega Satan Dream alive here. Not that I intend to fight Mega Satan. Mongo Baby is pretty good. Good enough that uh, I'm not disappointed, at least. Anything like that isn't useless or worse than useless... I'm going to file that in the W category right now. Uh, the Curse Room, of course, you know, is always a temptation, but it's not something that I think we should do if we're planning to be alive at the end of this run. Because one bad Curse Room could, could actually ruin your run if you don't have a teleport card to get yourself out of it. Three bombs and an extra key. It's possible, like, there's a secret room on the other side? No. Okay, so that curse room, we're gonna need a way to teleport out. And, perhaps also importantly, we can't just teleport back in. Uh, or we, we, we have to have enough HP to get back out, I guess. If, like, okay, I'm not being very articulate right now. If we use a Joker card, let's say, to get out of the curse room, then when we walk out of the Devil Room, we're gonna be back in the curse room. So we could still pretty easily die. So, it's, uh... It's worth considering that maybe we just say no to the curse room for now, especially because we have no guppy items. Um, we're kind of, you know, we're hoping for that like 1 in 10 play, but I think it's more likely that the, the curse room ends up just being really bad for you and, and possibly like ruining your whole run. So, so far so good. Uh, all cards become pills is kind of an interesting choice. As is fanny pack, actually. I think that fanny pack could, could reasonably be construed as like, when you get hit, a small chance appears. Wow, that's bad. A small chance appears for you to get uh, a penny and or a nickel or, you know, whatever. And thus get back into the game easily, even if wooden nickel doesn't work out for you. But I think we're probably better off saving our money. And um, I don't know about Little Baggy because even though I do have PhD, some cards are really, really valuable. You know, we still, like, the Joker card is what allowed us to get... Uh, is what allowed us to get Crown of Light here. Um, something like an Emperor card that allows us to skip a whole floor would be extremely useful. So I think we're just going to save our money instead. Uh, we'll pick this up. We got other pennies back there that we don't have to worry about. We should be fine. Yeah. Uh, and you know what? We got enough bombs. I still want bombs because we're going to possibly need them for damage. Uh, but I also wanted to see if we could find a second secret room there. I, although, I guess in the second secret rooms, I'm not sure what we're looking for at this point. So, we get a range upgrade, which contributes to the mom transformation. And we get three red chests. First one, two pills. Both balls of steel, so that's a lot of flies. Second one... Troll bomb. That I did manage to get away from, thankfully. 
Third one, several spiders. Kind of a whiff. Life goes on. Let's head down to the next floor. Of course, leaving a lot of pennies behind, but pennies are HP, as far as I'm concerned. Depths one on pace for boss rush, strangely enough. Now, <laughs> I would like to go to boss rush, but we really need to have a good run or a teleport card to feel 100% safe about it. I do like the idea of this room. Let's try this. Okay, we did get a payout. So let's open this up. Um, and we'll probably just open up the other uh, golden chests. Assuming we get enough keys to do so. Um, after we've killed all the enemies. Just to keep things you know as safe as possible for us. Okay, so we get another bomb. Bob's Rotten Head. We'll open up one set of chests, which gives us Cricket's Head. This entire room is worth it now. Fate's Reward is not particularly good, but um, it's it's not bad. Actually, it's it's better than particularly good because we have Crown of Light. So I uh, I fucked this up a little bit. I picked up the uh, the penny that we got from Wooden Nickel and kind of left us in a weird spot there. Now we're back at equilibrium, which is good. I don't really want to pick up that nickel yet. Remember, if we lose HP, we can pick it up as four cents anyway. So now we have two extra keys. Um, and we're going to open this last golden chest. They've all been very good for us. Or at least somewhat good. This one, uh, sure. Yeah, it's a lot of money and a couple extra bombs for the cost of a key. That could be, a, you know... Something that contributes to this run eventually becoming one. But as for right now, you know, I I knew I was going to take damage there after a second and we managed to make it through, which is good, but a little scary. 28 cents, though. Really, like, we're probably closing in on a really high percentage chance to win. What we need is still one of those, like, super good keeper trinkets. If we can get Swallowed Penny or, you know, 9 Volt, which is not a trinket, or Petrified Poop even, or, you know, anything along these lines... We got a pretty good chance uh, for for success overall. Again, stupidly picked up the penny there. Um, I'm gonna try not to do that in the future because uh, probably not all rooms are gonna be as nice as this one where we were not really punished for that. Okay, we're totally safe. Not smart, but safe. And it's better to be safe than smart, I guess, in this situation. In real life, yeah, it's probably better to be safe than smart, but smartness probably has a, a, a correlation with intelligence. <laughs> probably the dumbest sentence I've ever said. Smartness has a correlation with intelligence. I meant to say smartness has an, a correlation with safety. We get, uh... Well, yeah, okay, I think it's a good idea to take the steam sail, and we will take this pill, which is relax, which sucks. And we'll take the other card, which is the hermit, which now gives us an out for boss rush if we're interested. We're a little slow here, like we, we've taken our sweet time on this floor. Leave a couple pennies behind just in case. But if we can get to boss rush and then get out, I think that could be a nice indicator for us here that we have a good chance to succeed. Uh, but uh, what I was going to say is, I, as much as I would love one of those awesome, you know, classic keeper trinkets, we don't need them to win. It would just be nice. We can still win without them. Although I think, you know, that obviously they increase our chances by, by a lot by making it nearly impossible for us to die. So I think we should try to get to Boss Rush. There is a second secret room there. We're going to get a free deal with the Devil item. Thank you, Fate's Reward, for a timely hit there. We get Black Powder, which is actually pretty bad. Um, in in a, most situations, Black Powder is fine. In this situation, we're, we're slow enough that I think Black Powder is not really a huge increase uh, of utility for us. But how can you complain? You know, we're still trucking along here. Um, this means we will not face double cage, at least until we get to the chest. We've made it through the, the depths one. And on the depths two, we know we're gonna fight mom, which is, uh, sometimes scary, but possibly, like, not that bad. So we're gonna do classic, like, Northern Lion, um, might not get every consumable on this floor sort of meta, because I'm way more concerned with the chance to get to boss rush. And if we can make that happen, it should be worth it. And if we can't make it happen, we can always come back. I'm going to throw a bomb down. The tractor beam is too strong. I actually cannot escape the tractor beam. Stay away from these enemies. It's way more important that you don't get hit than that you kill these guys in a timely fashion. The tractor beam was too... St like, my speed is so low that I couldn't get out of the way of the tractor beam. That's horrifying. Um... 
hopefully we don't face many more enemies like that before we manage to pick up a speed upgrade. I might even, like, if we can get a speed upgrade out of Boss Rush. It's normally not, like, your, your primary target at that point in the game, but it might be important for us here. Ooh, two of diamonds. That takes us up to 76 cents. Great for this shop, because we still have shop keys, so we know we're not going to fight the keeper, but, uh... Money equals power was a huge asset for us on the last run. We don't have it on this run. Still. You're always happy to have more money out of it whenever possible. Okay, we do fight the boss here. Now, we should be smart about it. We can get out um, afterwards, but we should be smart about this and, and endeavor to take as little damage as possible. Don't be afraid to hermit card out if things go terribly wrong. Good dodges. That guy's got to go. And we should be good, actually. That was really easy. I'm going to take the Polaroid. What kind of person would I be? If I didn't kill the Angel Statue in this situation. To at least give us the chance of fighting Mega Satan. Guillotine. The D12. Remote Detonator. Or Capricorn. Tough call. We're going to take Capricorn. We're out. Um, glowing Hourglass, I don't know. I don't think it's the right call for us here. Weirdly enough, I find myself sort of wanting to donate on this run. So, let's... You don't oftentimes find yourself in a situation where is the keeper you're trying to donate, but that is exactly what we're going to do right now. So, we picked up Capricorn, which uh, might be antagonized or, or cannibalized by uh, the fact that we have Cricket's Head for damage multipliers, but at least it's a speed upgrade. Then we got uh, the Soul as well. The Soul is going to be awesome for deflecting bullets, and it gave us a bunch of flies. That's about it. Then we completed our key, so we might have a chance to fight Mega Satan if we want. Uh, I will spoil this for you. I don't really want. I'm going to use the Stars card. We get Shoop to Whoop, which is actually really tempting. Um, and on any other run... This would be a no-brainer. You know, we'd be all over shoot the whoop. But on this run, it doesn't make any damn sense. We would lose uh, our, our wooden nickel and, you know, be very disappointed as a result. So we're going to head down to the womb. And this is where things are going to get... Like, we have to play well from this point onwards. It's a great run. They've given me the ability to succeed. The possibility, at least, to succeed. We don't need the shop key anymore. Um, but we need... To, to meet them halfway now. And I'm, I'm stoked that we at least got into boss rush. And Capricorn was like, it was the last item we saw. It was a Hail Mary and a half. And it worked out for us completely. So I'm very happy about that. Now it's all about keeper fundamentals. So, you know, you leave pennies on the ground. That's a question mark. Because it is, it's a question mark. Um, full health? Absolutely, we'll take that. Um... We leave pennies on the ground. We use wooden nickel once per room. We hit enemies before they hit us. That's the way that we're going to actually make this run work. But leaving pennies on the ground for situations in which maybe we're not playing so well is also intelligent. We don't need money for anything, so... There's no real reason to be... Concerned about that. Oh, that could have been bad. That was the weirdest sound I've ever made on a video, but... Um, good lord. That was actually sort of dangerous. Uh, we did get a penny here, so I'll open that up. Now, safety cap. Considering that we have a PhD, I think safety cap is like a B minus level trinket to take here. B minus, because, you know, like health upgrades, balls of steel, we can't get as much value out of those as we would as any other character. That just goes to show you, no matter how good your damage is, you know, depending on the enemies that you're fighting, you can still find yourself in a tough spot. But we did not get killed. Still, I'm, I'm kind of like... Thinking that HP upgrades... Or sorry, not HP, but speed upgrades are not the worst thing in the world. We're still pretty slow. But our damage is really, really good. Luck up. This is a fantastic upgrade for us right now. I'm gonna just assume that safety cap doing its job. We barely can navigate around these uh, tractor beams here. I think we should play this because of the chance to get a good trinket. And, you know, I could rush this and maybe we could finish the run in 30 minutes. And, okay, now I can go have a nice sandwich before uh, the NLSS instead of just slapping two pieces of bread together. But it really 
it, it would be wise for us to just recognize that, you know, glory is eternal. So what would be good is to uh, play this until maybe we can get a better trinket. Like one of the truly great trinkets. We didn't, but at least we tried and, uh, you know, we got some money out of it, I suppose, is, is what we're going to say is the best there. Full health is still the best thing for us to hold. And we'll, uh, we'll go fight the boss. And we're ready to fight the boss. I'm ready for a free deal with the angel item. You know, we've, we've killed both of the angel statues already. So if you want to give me an angel item, I think we've earned it, honestly. We get magic mush. Dude, this is like a carbon copy of the last run. Again, we probably have uh, cannibalized damage multipliers. But at the same time, we are uh, at least getting the other all stats up. So, like, a, uh, a tears upgrade, real nice. A speed upgrade, so valuable. Let's not get cocky, because anything can still happen on this run. But we are actually getting very, very strong. Probably the most in-the-zone dodge I've ever made. Great work. Tell you right now, uh, an arcade. It's going to have to do a lot of legwork to convince me to play an arcade. Oh, right, we can't make it into that room. One makes you small. I actually don't want to go too overboard on one makes you small pills. I want to uh, kind of stay on the level there. This would be an awesome golden chest. Instead, we got two keys for a bomb, which is also good. Um, I, I just want to be reasonably fast. And then, like, a relatively normal size. And then use our ridiculous damage to crush everything. And, you know, so far, so good. Anytime you can kill an enemy in one shot uh, on the womb. It doesn't matter if it's, you know, a super big enemy. Just the fact that we're not spending, like, 15 shots to kill each one of these guys is indicative of us being in a decent spot. The chest is a whole different ball game. You know, we do have uh, seriously tough enemies when we get down there. Double bosses that could, that could easily hit us twice before we even know what's happening, but... Now, we do have, uh, we do have two steam sails, which means that items are free. And that might seem like it makes the hush a good idea. I would still stand by that being real stupid. Well, this is not going well. Okay, that was, like, I've managed to make it to the hard shot. There we go. I don't know what was going on there. My brain was like, I cannot handle this right now. Too much pressure. But now that we've handled that room, we actually found the boss room super quickly. We're not going to do hush. I'll just put in, you know, nip that one in the bud, basically. Let's just hope we can get through this one okay. And we do have a, uh, we have a fail safe. If we get hit, there's no penny on this room. We can use full health. That was beautiful. We do have a deal with the devil. I would like to fight Krampus. It's not Krampus. We got a bunch of flies instead of spirit hearts. Oh boy. Okay, who would have thought that we could have made it back to the cathedral on this one? Remember on the last uh on the last keeper run, we did uh have Yera. Full health is also really useful, but Yera did give us four items. None of the items were particularly good to the best of my memory, but Or were they? I can't remember. We have Midas Touch. I'm, I'm getting all sorts of recent runs, like, you know, conglomerated in the old noggin here. We're opening Golden Chest because I don't think we're going to run out of keys. I don't really want HP here. Although, if we get, like, less than three, if we take damage, we could always use it just as a red heart. Instead, we get a pill, and the pill is Perks. Which actually does nothing... Since no matter what damage we take, it's, thank you, soul. Uh, no matter what damage we take, it's going to be one full heart of damage. So, um, I'm not really that interested in that. I'm sort of interested in this curse room, which is actually a boss trap room. But I want there to be a penny inside of it before we go for it. I don't, and like, flies are not good enough. Like, it, for it to be good, I'd really like this to be an item. Okay. Like, the mark would be great. There we go. We finally got one. I'm most concerned about troll bombs here. So I just opened one, and then we're going to, you know, sit on it. We're going to wait until all the enemies are dead, and then we're going to handle things. Just stay close enough that we could conceivably get to that penny pretty rapidly if we need to. Or that one. 
Well, at least they're easy enemies. It's fairly obvious. Bad gas is not very good. It's a troll bomb, but we can we have the speed finally to push it away. And Pandora's box, which is a free deal with the angel item, which is Godhead. Uh, life is good, friends. Life is good. So our damage is ridiculous now. Yera, Algis, probably better than full health. And this run is now. I'm I'm fairly comfortable saying this run is better than the last run. Uh, I'm always nervous when you give up HP to take, like, defense, but let's be real. This is, uh, it's Godhead. We just got Godhead off of Pandora's box. Lucky, sure, but you gotta be fairly lucky just to make it to this situation to freaking begin with. That was not a good opportunity to use the, uh, wooden nickel, by the way. Am I gonna fight Mega Satan? Well, if there's any run on which to do so, it would seem like this is the one. We'll take Speedball. We'll take best bud. And then we will go explore. And we will at least attempt the blue baby route before we go to Mega Satan. Let, what's my ideal outcome? We don't even have to use um, Algis before fighting blue baby. And then we can just go... Uh, again, don't use that. Then we can just go fight Mega Satan with Algis. The other possible sweet outcome would be uh, get a teleport card. So if we fight, if we fight uh, Mega Satan and we go, oh shit, we're gonna die, then we just pop um, the teleport card and come out and win the run. You might be saying, hey, you little bitch, Mega Satan shouldn't even be that hard with this. That's true, but there's a couple of things to consider. One is we can't fly, so. Uh, Enemies that create creep are going to be annoying. The other one is that it's just like a long fight. Now, items like the soul are going to be real helpful for that, but... Uh, we, we can't fly, so it, it's a little bit easy to understand how we could accidentally take some damage on that run. Or on that, on that room, I should say. I'm very, very tempted to just go kill... Um, to just go kill Blue Baby. And that's what we're going to do first. I was actually hoping for a tarot card. <laughs> Algis is really good, though. Like, I think if we could get the penny and get Algis, I would feel much more confident for that Mega Satan fight. So we're only going to know that, like, when it happens, unfortunately. Um, well, let's see. No penny here, which I think raises the chance that we want to use Algis. But, man, Blue Baby died so quickly. What kind of person would I be? If I didn't fight Mega Satan when given the keys to the kingdom. I don't think I could be proud of myself, I'll tell you that much. We'll take... I don't know why I didn't take Butt Bombs. By the way, where's Mega Satan? He's not out here, huh? Mega Satan? Bum 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 Mega Satan! Bring me a dream, bring me a dream, bring me the cutest that I've ever seen. Uh, we have Algis. Algis is at least like 30 seconds of safety. But we, this is the problematic part. We need to really, really like not get hit. Uh, this wave doesn't frighten me that much. This wave does. Because these enemies can shoot pretty freaking quickly. And they've got, like, you know, arcing shots. Maybe we had no reason to be afraid whatsoever. So we've already gotten through the first phase uh, from a wave perspective. Holy shit, we actually are going to get a Keeper Street going here. <laughs> with a Mega Satan kill on it. Alright, well, we'll be back with another Keeper run next after this, then. Just because of the ridiculousness of the prospect. Hey, we popped Algis. Thanks for watching. Hope you guys enjoyed it. Two really kind of historically good keeper runs in a row here. If you did enjoy, click the like button. It helps out a great deal. Of course, subscribe if you want to see more in the future. For now, thanks for watching, and I will see you next time.